Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for September 6th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair surged to the upside, did break previous resistance, but pulled back to close below it. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 78.42, possibly as low as 76.34. Look for some resistance around 77.75 and look for some support around 77.15. Now looking at the Euro USD pair, this pair had a very volatile day due to the news from the Swiss government. Did close down. We are looking for it to continue its move to the downside. However, potentially going as high as 143.58, possibly as low as 137.52. Look for some resistance around 141.75 and look for some support around 139.67. Now the pound US dollar pair, it surged to the downside as well. We are looking for it to continue its move uh, downward. Look for it to potentially go as high though, up to 162.73, possibly as low as 157.19. Look for some resistance around 160.50 and look for some support around 159.15. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair had a huge day, over 700 pips range, largest personal uh, Largest day range I've seen uh, since trading the Forex in 10 years. Uh, just have never really seen it uh, move that much all in one session. We are looking forward to continue its move to the upside, possibly going as high as 09070, possibly as low as 07765. Look for some resistance around 08650 and look for some support around 08250. That about wraps that up. Uh, let's take a look at what news announcements are being released during this next session. We have the Bank of, of Japan releasing their rate decision. Uh, consensus is they're going to hold rates at 0.10%. No surprise there. We also have the Canadian rate, uh, rate decision being released at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Consensus on that one is that they're going to hold rates at 1%. We have at 9 a.m p.m. Eastern Time, uh, or 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, the Australian unemployment change being re being released. They're showing a change from a negative 0.1K to a positive 10K, showing that the unemployment rate has not changed and is held at 5.1%. All right, now as far as potential trades going into this next session, looking for, let me see here, let me zoom out a little bit. Looking for the U.S. Swiss to pull back. Don't know if it'll happen. I'm not sure if we've seen uh, seen the rest of this or not, but looking for it to pull back. What what I'm looking for as far as uh, potential shorts would be for it to dip below the 184.30 mark and then look to take out uh, I don't believe it's going to come all the way back down, but uh, basically look for it to take out 30 pips and bounce off of the uh, 80, 84 mark, the 8400 mark. So just looking to grab 30 pips, not, uh, not that big of a deal um, as far as the range goes. Just looking to uh, for it to come down and take that out. Now, we are talking about a 200 pip move. Maybe better to, hang on one second, let me straighten this up. And let's zoom in a little bit. So that's one play. It's uh, off of a windows of opportunity type setup, but it is a good ways from the market. So we have uh, the other option we could do is to take this low and uh, try to look at plotting a line off of it although it's it's heading pretty uh, pretty flat over the past hour or two I do believe we will get a break we have some uh, areas of support here that's a little bit closer we could also take this high that it tagged earlier and look for a break to the downside basically I'm looking for it to break to the downside we're just above the 8600 mark. Um, I do believe we could break through that and potentially move lower. We have here at 08562, and then we have 
0 0.85, 20. So we have a, a 40, roughly 40 pip move there between those two. 0 0.8562 and 8520, looking for a sell. Well, that about wraps us up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.